Hi, and welcome to the first OpenPicus webinar. In this webinar, we'll see how to create an app using our development software. We create a new project, and you name it, for example, test01, and we select a folder. Okay. Uh, okay. Then we get access to the app configurator. With the app configurator, we can choose the services we want to include in our application, for example, a web server or a DHCP server. If we select TCP debug on UART1, we will get m debug messages on the UART1. Now we select the host name, for example, Flybot, and we keep the default MAC address. Okay. We decide to create an ad hoc network and we name it FlyportNet. Okay, and we go next. We can choose all the type of security mode, open, web, WPA, and so on. We keep it open. These are advanced uh, features for advanced user, so we'll see next uh, in the uh, next webinar. We'll finish and the IDE compiles all the files of the stack. It's a little bit long uh, operation, but we'll get it. Okay, compiling success. Now we get three windows. One with the flyport task, one for the Wi-Fi events, like uh, connection successful, connections failed, connection lost, and the HTTP web server. Where is the code for the web server? Okay, we can put our firmware in the Flyport task. For example, we want to manage a button on the input one. So when the button is pressed, we want the Flyport to create uh, an ad hoc network. So we use the IO button state uh, function on the input one. So when the button is pressed, the flyport creates the network. We use the command WF connect with the default configuration. The default configuration contains all the settings uh, we are chosen uh, in the app configurator. Okay, this is a very simple firmware. If we wanted to add uh, some web pages, we can add here. But we have the default template, and so we compile. Uh, in the default template, uh, uh, is always loaded uh, the standard web server page of the Flyport. Obviously, you can change any time. Okay, compiling success. Now we have to download the firmware on the device. So I click on the load firmware. We have to choose the serial port. Okay. And the load. Okay, the firmware is uh, downloading. We speed up the operation. Okay, download complete. Now the flyport is starting. As we can see, there is not the flyport net in the list of Wi Fi networks. If I press the button, on the input one, the flyport creates uh, the Wi-Fi network. So if I refresh the list uh, of the Wi-Fi network on my PC, I should see the flyport net. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, an ad hoc network, and I can connect. Okay, in this webinar, we have seen a very simple firmware just to show how to use the development application. In the next lessons, we'll see other functions of the Flyport and how to use them. For documentation, apps, and libraries, www.openpicus.com.